I've been recording this video for the last half hour and I keep making connections. I keep realizing things that I didn't realize before because I'll be honest, when I saw this quote by Chaucer, I was thinking, eh, what the heck am I going to say? And this idea that we're all learners, doers, and teachers, this distinction between you and I, teacher and student, you know, do you have another teacher that spends so much time learning every single day? I hope you do. I hope there are others out there who realize that it never stops and they share what they're learning with you on a daily basis. How cool is that? But look, there was a comedy routine that I've tried to weave into this and I don't know who it was and it was years ago, but the guy said, you know, we do everything wrong. When you turn five, we send you off to school. He says, that's wrong. When you turn five, we should send you off to work. And then you should work for 25 years. And when you're 30, then you get to go to school because then you're ready to learn. And, you know, the audience laughs and I laughed along with him and thought, guy, he's got a point. But, of course, it's an absurd point. That's the nature of comedy. Some of you, a few of you, absolutely love school. You love every class. You love learning. Man, I envy you. I wish I was like that because I'm like a lot of the students that I walk around the room go, trying to prod you into working. <laughs> that you probably hate me by now. Um, and that's okay because what's important is that at some point during the year you understand that it's only boring because you haven't taken the time to learn, to listen, to figure out that this can be really fun. Okay, one of the great connections I made that I didn't realize that's sitting right in front of me is, hey, I spent the weekend exploring. I put these up before school yesterday, okay? I also put this one up, and if I switch over here to Twitter, this is a retweet. Michael J. Crawford is the guy who started Real World Scholars. This was his idea, and the idea, um, the, the article he links to about students getting increasingly bored as they get older. And this continues until there's an absolute unhappy face at the other end. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not only important, it's very sad because there's so much to learn. Such as if you have a three by three cube, how many different patterns? Think for a second, three by three, three by three, well, three by three by three. How many different patterns can you come up with? Well, think of a number. Come on. Is it 6? Is it 12? Is it 20? Is it 43? And I'm not done yet. Yeah, 43. And all I'm doing is removing a cube and then making a pattern. And this one looks fairly simple because this is an obvious one that I didn't see earlier in this progression. And eventually, I'll share all of these with you. And I'm sure I've got one or two duplicates, but I've also got more in the loop, a few more. I don't know how many more there actually are. But if you don't explore, if you don't try to discover, if you don't work hard and try to learn how to do these things, well, yeah, of course it's going to be boring. And of course, you're going to do the same stupid things again and again and again. Geez, how boring is that? Don't I try something new every day? I want you guys to get this sense of discovery that's sitting right in front of you, just like this tweet that I didn't notice until last video. All right, I'm done recording this thing, however this turns out. Oh yeah, and I fixed the sound. That was totally on me. I got a new computer, a new version of the screen recording software, and in tuning it in, I boneheadedly turned off one channel. Yeah, all on me. Uh, so, yeah, I make mistakes. I learn from my mistakes. I don't give up. I try my best. Hey, and I try to play by the rules. Okay, and yeah, I do break some. Just like you. All right, happy Valentine's Day.